Prague, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Magic Golden Prague, the city of a hundred spires, the heart of Europe, a symbol of rich tradition of culture and education. Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, home to a million people and a member state of the European Union since May 1st, 2004. The Latin saying locus regit actum, place governs action, is perfectly true to Prague. Since time immemorial, it has been the crossroads of Europe thanks to the location and has experienced tides of artistic styles and mixing spiritual streams. One example of how different styles of architecture face each other is in Old Town Square with the medieval Gothic Ten Church, Baroque St. Nicholas Church and synagogues in the nearby lanes of Jewish Town, where one of the oldest Jewish cemeteries can be seen. Carolinum, the seat of Charles University, the oldest university building in Central Europe. It bears the name of the university's founder, Charles IV, the Holy Roman Emperor and the King of Bohemia. It was constituted by the Royal Charter of April 7, 1348, which is one of the treasures of the university. From the very beginning, Charles University was composed of four faculties. Faculty of Arts, nowadays Arts and Philosophy, Law, theology, and medicine. The image of the pelican feeding the nestlings with its own blood is the crest of the first faculty of medicine, a symbol of self-sacrifice associated with the medical profession. The faculty has its own ceremony insignia as well. The first faculty of medicine is the biggest medical faculty in the Czech Republic and the most productive in biomedical research. It was the first Czech medical faculty to obtain the certificate of the U.S. Department of Education for Medical Training Programs, and in 1992, it started teaching medicine and dentistry in the English language as well. Throughout the European Union, the diplomas of Charles University are fully recognized and the faculty is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools by the WHO. The solemn matriculation ceremony is public reflection of gaining the rights and accepting the duties of the student of Charles University. The faculty educates future doctors and dentists as well as other healthcare professionals. The course of university studies in general medicine takes six years, in dentistry five years, and in bachelor degree programs three years. Postgraduate study programs usually take four years. The faculty comprises nearly 70 scientific, educational, and clinical institutions. There are more than 3,500 students and more than 1,500 members of the scientific and teaching academic staff. The admission procedure includes tests to check the student's knowledge in chemistry, physics, and biology. These tests are anonymous and are evaluated by computer. The score is the only criterion for admission. First year students meet at the camp before they start studying. This gives them a chance to learn about their study obligations, meet their prospective teachers, and play sports with their new colleagues. The Institute of Scientific Information with its modern equipment provides the comprehensive information service for the students, academic staff, and collaborating institutions. At the time, the number of registered users is nearly 6,000. The first years of training are devoted to the study of theoretical and preclinical subjects. Core subjects include, for example, anatomy. Students gain a substantial part of their knowledge from lectures, but the most important thing is the experience that comes from immediate contact, allowing them to check on their knowledge by sight and touch. 
training in theoretical subjects is also focused on practical experience and skills gained in labs and covering the whole scope of medical chemistry, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Theoretical and preclinical subjects in the first three years provide the students with all the central knowledge needed to understand how the organism, healthy or ill, works. This is also done at the Institute of Physiology, whose founder and first head was the famous physiologist Jan Evangelista Porkenia. The building bearing Porkenia's name houses those fields of science that he most contributed to biology, histology, embryology, and pharmacology. Since his time there, a lot has changed. Above all, biology, nowadays, mainly focuses on training in genetics and overall genetic care of patients. The Halava building, named after the prominent pathologist Professor Halava, is the seat of the Institute of Pathology and Institute of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As part of their education, the students take practical training in microscopy and dissection. The largest training base for the first faculty of medicine is the General Teaching Hospital. At its modern clinical workplaces, the students get their first practical experience. The General Teaching Hospital, however, has been in operation for more than 200 years. At medical departments, the training is focused on specialized fields, hematology, cardiology and angiology, endocrinology and metabolism, or gastroenterology and intensive care. Much attention is paid to individualized teaching in small groups. Students can learn about all necessary technology used for invasive or non-invasive diagnosis about inpatient care as well as everyday operations of specialized outpatient facilities. In surgical departments, the students learn about diagnosis of surgical conditions and treatments of surgical patients. In operating theaters, they have the opportunity to assist in operations or observe particular surgical techniques with live commentary by the operating surgeon. Many buildings where the faculty's workplaces are found contribute to the unique architecture of the city. Much appreciated for its architecture is, in particular, the former province maternity hospital, now the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics. It was built between 1865 and 1875 by the prominent Czech architect and supporter of arts and science, Josef Alavka, who also built the famous opera house in Vienna. The operating theaters are equipped with modern technology. From the lecture rooms, the students can observe the operations online. Recently, more than 4,700 babies per year are born there. The beautifully renovated Holyrood Chapel serves for special occasions, concerts, and seminars. In the building of the Department of Urology, erected in 1976, the students have the chance to train laparoscopic surgical techniques on a digital simulator. This is a unique device employed in teaching practical clinical skills. The history of dentistry is as long as that of general medicine. In the study program of dentistry, the training is meant to prepare the student for independent professional practice to be taken immediately after graduation. Basic techniques are trained on oral cavity models and mannequin heads. The students learn about the essential professional terminology, instruments, materials, and procedures in a dental lab. They also learn about the development and particular subspecialties of dentistry.
education in psychiatry for the program of general medicine is focused on all the basic mental illnesses and disorders. In clinical training and placements, the students work with patients performing examinations and choosing therapeutic procedures. Their education also includes optional courses of various orientations. While training at the Department of Psychiatry, they also visit the mental hospital in Bohonitsa, the Institute of Sexology, and the Alcohol and Drug Detoxification Center at St. Polonaris. During their course, the students can also get familiar with principles of modern rehabilitation, functional diagnosis, and therapy. They work in outpatient facilities and the daycare center with patients who suffered brain lesions. Students in bachelor degree programs of physiotherapy and occupational therapy learn about basic principles of functional assessment using all means of rehabilitation to provide the best possible quality of life. The Department of Rehabilitation Medicine occupies a building fully adapted for wheelchairs and is the only clinic in the country that has European accreditation for postgraduate medical education in this field. Apart from the General Teaching Hospital, the faculty has some training institutions in the Teaching Hospital, Na Balupca, Central Military Hospital, Motul Teaching Hospital, Tomeyer Teaching Hospital, and Institute of Rheumatology. The faculty promotes the program of student exchange, utilizing the current European programs. The number of incoming students from all over Europe under the Erasmus program has increased. Biomedical research is one of the most important things for the faculty. Among the seven medical faculties in the Czech Republic, the first faculty of medicine occupies the first place with 27% acknowledged outputs of scientific research. The most significant fields of research at the faculty include, for instance, molecular biology and cell pathology. Doctor degree study programs in biomedical science are provided at the faculty in both Czech and English languages and in full-time and combined form. The goal of the studies are supervised by 19 accredited field boards and is not only the PhD degree, but above all, preparation for independent scientific work in the sphere of basic and purpose-aimed research. The first trial of strength for the students at the beginning of their scientific career is offered by student scientific conferences, which are organized by the faculty every year. Presentations of students' work are rigorously judged by boards of experts. One of the many outstanding personalities of the world science who was awarded the honorary doctorate degree in medical science to the proposal by the first faculty of medicine was Solomon Halbert Snyder, the professor of neurosciences, pharmacology, and psychiatry. Together with the Humanitarian Medics Club, the faculty organizes a cycle of concerts called Faculty in the Heart of Karlov which takes place in the churches of Karlov and Albertov. These concerts meet really keen interest to the public. Every faculty should have its academic club. This venue in the historic Faust House, woven around by many legends, offers the students with a haven of tranquility to spend their spare time. Apart from the comfortable setting for chats with friends, it is a place where the faculty can organize a scope of evening discussions, exhibitions, and other events.
Prospective physicians must know how important it is to compensate intellectual work by intensive exercise. The university's sports facilities offer them really ample opportunity. In addition to the regular sports activities, there are seasonal canoeing and skiing courses too. It has become traditional to hold the regular spring picnic with students and their teachers, organized by the Union of Czech Medical Students in the Garden of Clinical Departments of Neurology and Psychiatry, as well as the Children's Day, organized by the faculty together with the students, the General Teaching Hospital, and district authorities of Prague too. It is impossible to tell about the rich traditions of Charles University and its the first medical faculty in detail in a couple of minutes. Nor can you sum up briefly the years of demanding studies. A good many students will realize it when entering the Great Hall of the Grand Old Carolinum again. By taking the solemn oath and receiving the diploma they complete their studies at the first faculty of medicine. This is a moment the new physicians will often recall in their memories, a moment that closed the beautiful period of student life, and at a time, thanks to the high standard of education, opened their successful career in the medical profession.